Welcome, welcome, welcome to a tutorial video. I'm Cena Martin from xcinamartin.com. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the lessons from inside our brand new webinar, Brand and Market Your Way to Consistent 5K Months. Um, the lesson that I'm giving you today is how to schedule out your content from your social media and your blog so that you can reach more people in a shorter period of time save time and increase your income okay and I'm going to show you how to do this in just three hours a week all right it's very 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 simple once you understand the concept and you learn how to do it so as you can see on the screen right now this is the page you're going to come to um, when you register for the webinar I want you to click the link that's either below or above this video depending on what platform you're seeing this video on and I want you to go ahead and register for our uh, BM 5k webinar that is happening this week it's happening this week and you don't want to miss it because the tutorial from today's video is going to be about one third of everything you'll learn inside of this webinar about increasing your uh, blogging business income to $5,000 a month consistently. Let me give you a little secret. It does not take a lot of work. It is not going to take you a year to do it, and you don't need to go get 10 more clients to make it happen, okay? You can do this with just one client a month, and I'll show you exactly how to get that done, okay? Awesome, so let's get into today's tutorial. So the platform, or the tool, I'll say, that I use to schedule out my um, my blog posts and my social media posts and when I say schedule I'm talking about taking what you post on social media to promote or advertise your blogs your offers um, your Facebook posts your Instagram posts if you do YouTube videos your YouTube videos I'm talking about taking all of that social media stuff and putting it inside of this platform hootsuite.com so that this platform posts those uh those updates for you automatically okay that's what i'm talking about this may be a new concept to you or you may have tried this before um and it didn't really work out or you didn't really understand it so i'm doing this tutorial video uh so you can see how simple it is to use and i'm using hootsuite because it's one of the least expensive ways to do it okay awesome so Inside of Hootsuite, the dashboard, when you come in, you create your account, whatever the case is. Let me move this out the way. <laughs> when you come in here, this is what it'll look like. Actually, you may not even have this. This is because I have my stream set up, and um, I, I like to watch my Facebook and my Twitter. You might not, ha you might not have this. Yours may look a little different, um, but that's okay. You'll come into some, some general page, and this will, your dashboard will be here first. So what you wanna do, is you'll be prompted if you don't have Hootsuite to add social media accounts or if you already have your social media accounts they will be in this little um box that you see right here where it says send to and then it has this place for you to put your messages and it has these little options you can pick from or choose from okay so you'll come here and as you can see i already have my social media accounts plugged in if you don't just come to this blue option that says add social network click it and you'll be prompted to add the social network that you want to add okay if you don't want to follow Hootsuite on Twitter simply uncheck that uh, but you can add your Twitter Facebook Google LinkedIn account WordPress Instagram and the YouTube all of the main accounts that you would use to uh, promote or advertise or market your content on, on on social media okay so once you add the accounts that you want added into Hootsuite you'll then go in and begin to schedule there's multiple ways to do this. You can schedule your um, post. We'll call each post that you put on social media a post. <laughs> you can schedule your post one at a time. You can bulk schedule them, meaning you can schedule you know, 20, 30, 50, 100 posts at a time. Um, or you can do it where you upload an Excel sheet that has all of your posts inside of it into Hootsuite. Hootsuite does give you multiple options. Um, but for now, I'm going to do a uh, singular, meaning one by one, so that you can kind of see how this works, okay? So that's your dashboard. We're going to come over to Publisher. Now, this is your main, like, menu, we'll say, okay? This little gray area you see right here. And there's different options, obviously. We're not going to go into all of these other ones. That's for another tutorial video. Um, but we're going to come to Publisher to schedule our posts, okay? Publisher brings up your drafts your scheduled post, 
your past schedule posts, meaning you can see what you post in the past or what's already been uh, put out on social media. You can look at posts that require approval. So let's say um, you have a virtual assistant, a VA, or a personal assistant or something like that who comes in here and they schedule posts for you. Uh, and then you want the post to be approved before you have them scheduled out to go out. You could tell your virtual assistant to come in here, schedule your post, and leave them in drafts so that you can come in here and approve them before they go out and make sure everything is tip top shape. That's what your required approvals can be used for. Expired approvals and rejected is self explanatory, okay? And then if you want to include your RSS feed from your blog, you can do that. Um, so that every time you put out a new blog post, everyone gets alerted that your new blog post is out and you're kind of, you know, sending traffic over there. As soon as you hit publish on a post, you know, your SEO is, is within your first 24 hours. So that's super important to make sure traffic is coming to your post. As soon as you publish it, you can use RSS feeds for that. And then bulk message, uh, bulk message upload uh, is actually in beta. And that's what I just mentioned to you where you can upload maybe 10, 20, 50 posts at a time and save more time and do it that way, okay? So that's just a little basic overview of your publisher options that you have over here. So we're gonna go to scheduled. Now you'll see in here, I already have posts scheduled, obviously. Um, I've been doing this for quite some time now, a few years. Uh, and I'm going to show you over here, you have these other options, right, at the top. You can filter by a certain profile. So if you wanna just look at your Twitter, your Facebook page, your Facebook groups, if you're an admin of any of your groups, they'll be here. Your LinkedIn, your whatever social profile you have, you can filter your, your schedule post by your profile, which is helpful. Or you can look at all of your schedule posts if you don't wanna just do it by profile. Um, you can look at your posts from, I mean, in a list format, which is this. You can look at it by the day, which we have posted out for the day and you can change your days just by hitting this arrow over. You can look at it by the week, or you can look at it by the month. It's completely up to you how you want to schedule. For this tutorial video, um, and if you're a beginner to this and you're just starting, I suggest you look at it by the week. So you can schedule out your content weekly. Every Sunday night, you should go in and you should be looking at what you have going out for the next week. So if you have a workshop coming up, if you have an offer or product you're putting out for sale, um, if you are doing a webinar, like what we're having, or anything like that, or Facebook event, anything that you're having, you want to look at your content for the week and make sure your content is pushing people um, to go ahead and register or sign up for that particular event offer or training that you're having, okay? And then once you get a little more advanced, I suggest you do it by the month. Okay, and we'll talk a lot more about doing this in the webinar because I'll show you how to not only just open this up and start scheduling a bunch of posts that don't have anything to do with each other for the month, but inside of the branding and marketing your way to consistent 5K months webinar, I'm actually going to teach you how you can use a content schedule, right? Or you can use a content schedule from your content marketing plan. So I'm gonna show you how to put a plan together for your content directly from your uh, your campaigning or if you have a certain a certain offer or a certain product you you want to sell for a certain month I'll show you how to put together your content so that it all ties into that one specific offer or that specific product and we're going to go through the whole thing so if you're brand new and just beginning we'll go we'll go through your branding and we'll take it all the way to this step meaning you'll have all of your content scheduled, your product or your offer out for sale, um, and you'll be set up and ready to go to get your consistent 5K month in your particular business, okay? All right, so let's get to the tutorial. So we're gonna use the month feature, and I'm gonna make this really fast because it's actually very simple to do once you understand it, okay? So today is the 19th of July, um, and as you can see, I already have some things scheduled out here, but I'm gonna make this super simple, and I'm going to filter out these posts by my Confidence Catchers Facebook group, <laughs> okay? And I still have some scheduling to do for this. Everything else is scheduled, but I need to do some scheduling for my Facebook group. So I'm gonna filter my post out by that, and then we're gonna go over to tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have two posts scheduled. So I'm gonna add the third one that needs to go out in the afternoon. There's something scheduled for 8 a.m., 1 p.m., and I need to schedule out another post for the afternoon. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to what's called my content grid. My content grid. 
And my content grid is something you'll learn about on the webinar. Um, it simply lays out what goes out at what time of the day, what specifically gets posted, and what Facebook profile or what uh, social media profile it gets posted to. So this is the content grid for my Confidence Catchers Facebook group, okay? Right in my Google Drive, I have this. And tomorrow is, uh, tomorrow is let's just go back because I just forgot that quickly. Tomorrow is Thursday. <laughs> so we're going to pick tomorrow's post for Thursday evening, which is a question that goes out, okay? A question. If you come down here, you can see the day, what goes out, and then the time frames. So the morning always goes out between 8 and 12 a.m. The midday always goes out between 1 and 6 p.m. And the last post, the evening post, always goes out between 6 and 10 p.m., okay? This is my content grid. Keeps me very organized. Um, and this is something, this is exactly what you'll be using you know, once you learn the strategy and you complete uh, the webinar that we're gonna have this week. So let's get my question. I'm going to come here and all you would need to do is click inside this box. Once you click, you'll have a scheduler pop-up that looks like this. You wanna select the profile that you're gonna to post to. So I'm posting to the Confidence Catchers community. I'm gonna ask a question here. And the question is, My team is creating new blog posts. What's the one thing you'd like to see in Ultimate How to Guide Form? Okay, and we'll use the hashtag from the blog, Axina. Perfect. So you have your question in here. If you had a link or maybe you were uh, promoting a blog post or a video, something like that, you would just add that in here and then you would hit shrink so that Hootsuite can shrink the link for you. You don't want to post any super long links that aren't attractive. Okay. And then you want to come here. If I was attaching a picture, I could. I'll do it for the sake of this video so you can see how it's done. Uh, hit attach media. Once you attach a media, you can upload a YouTube video if you had one. Upload a video. You can upload a video if you had one, excuse me. You could attach a YouTube video. Uh, if you needed to, or you can just choose a file to upload from your computer. So we're gonna choose a file to upload. I'm going to go to my pictures. Excuse me, I'm actually gonna go to my desktop. We're gonna go to blog posts, and then I'm just gonna pick a picture out of my folders. I have preset folders uh, for, for these posts, and I suggest you do the same thing to save time, okay? Very simple, so you attach your picture, you saw how I did that there. And then you come over to the next option, which is to schedule. So we're gonna click schedule. Auto schedule is if you want the system to, to post this whenever uh, your, your audience is online or the most active during that particular day. So you can use auto schedule if that best suits your particular needs. But for this particular post, I know what time I want it to go out. So we're gonna click. The 20th is already selected. You could select the day that you wanted it to go out. And then we're gonna select the time. So I want this, let's consult the content grid one more time. I want this to go out between six and 10 p.m. on Thursday. Question, right? So we're gonna put this out Thursday. We're gonna put it out at six. That's usually when um, my catchers are most are active on Thursdays, okay? We're gonna put it out at 6 p.m. If you wanted it at a.m., you can switch it, select p.m. Select email me when message is sent. You don't ever honestly want to leave this unchecked because if there's an error in your posting or for some reason one of your posts doesn't go out, you want Hootsuite to alert you of that so that you can go ahead and make the proper corrections. And then you just hit schedule. And then you see how that pops up in the calendar. That's it. So then you can see where it's going, what the message is, and you can see when it's scheduled to go out. Very, very simple, very easy stuff. And that's all, guys. If you want to come in here, create your, uh, your Hootsuite accounts, come in here and start scheduling out some of your posts, save yourself some time. Um, you don't want to be spending a whole lot of time scheduling out posts or just posting on social media, period. That part of your business you want to automate completely if possible. Okay, so make sure you register for the webinar. Click the link around this video. Register for the webinar so you can see how to save your time, 
leverage your time, increase your income. And if it's your goal, get your blogging business to the income level you want it to be so that you can tell your boss peace out. I look forward to seeing you on the webinar and I will see you for the next tutorial. Bye.